Yes, I am still pissed off of last night's The Walking Dead season finale, season six finale. Um, yes, I'm still pissed. <laughs> but I thought let's make a you know let's let's talk about some things that we're looking forward to in season seven. So there will be spoilers when I talk about these five topics. So five t- five things to look forward to for season seven of The Walking dead spoiler alert so you've been warned now let's get right into it because i didn't want to make this too long of a video number one reason to look forward to season seven is come on jeffrey dean morgan as negan that is something to very much look forward to i thought uh you know last day on earth what the introduction of negan he was fantastic he wasn't over the tops like the comics negan sure i would have liked a little bit more pizzazz but the way he handled it the way he's carrying it i really am looking forward to his take on negan and it looks like we only got a little bit of this a little bit of him as negan just wait till he we get a whole season of him and negan i think he's gonna kill it i think this is a perfect casting choice for negan uh i I, just right when he came out the look he had the smirk he gave like he was already amazing as Negan and his Lucille Lucille I mean it just it was everything was just right in the world like Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool or hell um Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man <laughs> so I think uh season seven looking forward to Negan is just it's great man it's great that's gonna lead me into the, my second Thing to look forward to in season seven is rick now this goes hand in hand rick and negan's the rival the relationship the just the pure drum just the intensity the chemistry that's gonna go i thought there was already chemistry between rick and negan in uh, last episode in the last day on earth i feel i felt rick scared as shit i felt him just like he just couldn't help it he couldn't help it. he he couldn't do anything because negan had everything so i feel coming into season seven the relationship between rick and negan because it if you read the comics it's a shaky bumpy one of course rick is want going to want to kill negan after we it, they reveal who he killed i'm assuming it's glenn i think it was glenn that he killed but that's another topic in another day i but Season 7 is just going to be very much watchable because we're going to want to see that interaction between Rick and Negan. Are we going to get it every single episode? No, we're not going to get it every single episode because if you read the comics, you know that Negan comes in and out, in and out just to get his shit, to get what he wants. But when it does happen and we do see Rick and Negan interacting, the interaction alone is just going to be fantastic, I, I, especially when we finally find out who he killed. So I think the... Thing to the second thing to really look forward to is how Rick is going to handle everything that transpired in the last episode, the last day on Earth, and how his him his and Negan's relationship is going to go down in the future. So check that out. I mean, that's the second thing I'm looking forward to in season seven's The Walking Dead. The third thing. Now we did get this with Morgan and Carol. I did not really touch upon it on the review, but I'm touching upon it right now because this is very, very, very important uh just very important to look at and to when you, what you saw and that was the people who were on horseback and uh remember when morgan saved carol and we see those two people one was on horseback and you know he's saying i can help you i can help carol these people i believe and i think a lot of people are believing that these people are from not from the hilltop but from this community called the kingdom now the kingdom has an important player within that the leader of the kingdom is ezekiel and ezekiel plays an important factor in a war that might be brewing between rick hilt uh the alexandria hilltop and of course negan savior so the kingdom being introduced is something to look forward to i believe that that's the kingdom just don't quote me on that i guess you're gonna quote me on I, my opinion is that is the kingdom and if it is the kingdom that is another that's the third thing to look forward to for the upcoming season seven and oh my god the kingdom is such a very vital important part of this story that we're going forward to and uh man i just can't wait the fourth important thing to look forward to uh forward to in the season seven of the walking dead is carl now a lot of people have said carl i don't really like carl this 
Carl's being a little pump bitch. Like, I don't, know, I don't really like uh, Chandler Riggs. That's Carl. Like, eh, this is Carl. Carl, Carl. Carl. Carl is very important for the future of The Walking Dead. Because we know he didn't die because of Negan, what he said about if that boy moves and just grab his eye and throw it in this and that. Carl, like in the comics, is someone nobody didn't really like until he started to grow older, until this. I think this is where the changing of the guard. This is where we see Carl become so, more of a badass than we've seen him. Yes, he is somewhat of a little badass because he's grown up in an apocalyptic kind of world and he knows the rules and he knows what's going on here. But I think you're going to see another side to him for the upcoming season seven. And this is this is where he needs to branch out more. And this is where the show needs to take Carl, this character, and and just really explore what they could do with him. In the comics, he's very vital. In the comics, him and Negan have somewhat of a relationship and that is going to be very vital and intriguing going forward and especially going heading into season seven of the walking dead now carl for right now he's doing the things he needs he's he's a badass right now compared to where he was at the comics he's really doing a lot of things that you just already that you see him do in the comics right now but i think they're going to take it a step further especially when they're introducing like a guy like negan and you got to remember that line that he gave um saying that i owe them that uh when he told aaron i owe them like aaron says i owe her carl says i owe them he he is very close to a lot of these people this these people are his family so whoever negan chose to kill he's gonna want revenge and that is gonna be a vital part of the season seven and him maybe going off on his own and maybe trying to take out negan so carl is definitely somebody to look forward to for the season seven of the walking dead my last thing on the list is one of them lived one of them lived in my last video i said negan may kill in twos and that means he might kill somebody and then go and kill another person or somebody might two people might have died in a season finale that's not the case he did kill one person it is sticking close to the comics of that scene but who did he kill it could have been glenn it could have been daryl like i said it could have been abraham i don't think it definitely wasn't carl it's definitely not going to be rick uh but it could be been eugene rosita whatever so whoever he chose to kill which i believe at this point my gut feeling is saying he they stuck with the comics and he killed glenn but whoever who's left over so let's just say glenn was the one behind that pat maybe glenn was the one that fell if glenn died then that means at least daryl is alive and that means more story for daryl maybe more like i said of daryl and dwight's relationship rivalness there so at least we got that but if glenn wasn't the person maybe daryl was the person but you know that got killed maybe daryl was the one that negan killed that means glenn's alive so that means we get more story of glenn and this and that so that goes on to of course season seven so whoever died at least we have that other person that's still alive so it wasn't two fan favorites it wasn't uh a lot of casualties go heading into season seven so whoever died when we get confirmation in season seven or the leaks then the ones who are left over at least we'll get to see more of their story and more of that story progress so daryl is either alive or glenn's either alive and i know those are the two favorites hell maggie might be dead and glenn and daryl might be alive who knows but whatever it is the storyline between whoever is left alive for Moving on to season seven is going to be, be very intriguing. And it's going to see how much they stray from the comic books with whoever's still left alive and how much they don't. So I want to thank you guys for listening to this video. So there's five things to look forward to in this upcoming season of season seven of The Walking Dead. We have to wait till October, but I'm pretty sure leaks are going to let us know who was the one who bit the dust. And of course, we have Fear of the Walking Dead to look forward to. I'm hoping season two is better than season one, so we'll check that out as well. So I will have a video down in the description box of the Walking Dead giveaway and also the Loot Crate giveaway I'm doing. So you can check out those videos. I am giving away a crossbow from the Walking Dead. All you have to do is subscribe and put your name, channel name down below in the comment section, and you have a chance to win that crossbow. And of course, the Loot Crate I 
created called the mixer you can automatically just do the same subscribe to the channel put your channel name down below in the comment section and but you could check out those videos i'll have the links in the description box so thank you guys for listening i know a lot of people were pissed off on the season finale of the season six finale of the walking dead but there is some things to look forward to in season seven of the walking dead even though amc fucked up i'm dan man okay dan son until next time guys until we talk more the walking Bye, guys.